Продовжуємо роботу в Україні. We continue our working day at Ukraine Crisis Media Center, and now we're going to speak about presentation of the clip Ukraine by Teens. Tatiana Bogdanovsky, head of the youth policy direction at the NGO platform of community initiatives. Also, Sergei Pelecha, uh, deputy head of the board of the NGO Institute of Freedom of Speech, and Astatria Zarichna, co-author of the idea, screenwriter graduate of uh, 2017, and uh, Yaroslav Fedorchuk, Maria Kuchar, Victoria Tamin, and Alexandra Gnatenko, graduates of uh, 2017. Good afternoon. I am Natalia Fedorchuk, and uh, I would like to present this talented youth. They are the authors of this idea to tell about positive changes in Ukraine in foreign language, and also they implemented this idea. So now we are going to watch this video. There were a lot of questions about this topic, and we want to provide some comments on the topic. So please, video first. We are friends, we are all 17 years old, and we want to tell you about us and our country, so that Ukrainian people and Ukraine become more open to the world. Teenagers often go to cafes to hang out with friends and drink favorite beverages. My favorite one is mojito. Like all the youngsters, we really enjoy riding bikes, segways and other crazy stuff. These things really make us cheerful and smiling all the time. And uh, these uh, provide us a fun way to spend time with friends. So we are for active sports and for active way of life. We all know that good higher education is a key to a successful future. That's why all Ukrainians are looking for good education, which means good knowledge. In Ukraine, we have a lot of universities with centuries of history, graduates of which are famous all around the world. Being a dreamer, I always admire the feeling of light. What's more, I'm still eager to contribute much to the world of aviation, like Igor Sikorsky did at his time. Of course, the whole country is proud of him because it was the Ukrainian who invented the first ever helicopter. Ukrainians change the world. You can't even imagine how many world's famous talents are from Ukraine. Now I'll tell some words about them. Steve Wozniak, uh, the co-founder of Apple, was of the Ukrainian origin. Uh, David Copperfield, a world-known illusionist, is also Ukrainian. Uh, among Hollywood stars, there are a lot of Ukrainian people, like uh, Mila Kunis, uh, Mila Jovovich and Sylvester Stallone. stand in the Klitschko's Brothers Museum. Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko are famous Ukrainian sportsmen who made a great contribution into the world of box. And they are the great example for each person in our country without any exceptions. Yes, for example, young boxer Vasily Lomachenko is already known abroad because he has already become the world champion by the version of WBO and the twice, and also he became champion of Europe.
So in order to stay in shape, we regularly either visit the gym, play some sport games, or go into dancing classes. We love sport. All for all the times, Ukrainians have been a sporting nation and since the early age, each of us is a great fan of football and our Ukrainian national team in particular. We always cheer up for our team and wish them all the best. Ole, 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 ole. Ukraine is a champion! What's up, people? Hello! <laughs> so, do you know that Ukrainian Grivna is acknowledged as one of the most beautiful banknotes in the world? And right now, I hold a 100 Grivna bill and it is equaled as 4 dollars or 3.5 euros. This sum of money you can buy different delicious dishes. In Kiev, uh, uh, you prefer to spend uh, lunch time sitting in different cafes in a good company of friends. So here it is, the first ever building made of concrete. Back in the day it had been constructed in 1902, architect Gorodetsky not only showed material strength and reliability, but also proved it to be really plastic, completing some special decorative elements in the form of animals. Now, my friends and I have decided to visit Pinchuk Art Center. This museum is located in the heart of the city. And believe me, this place is the best for all those who can't imagine their life without modern art. Here, on this art platform, the best artists from the whole world are working and creating together. Through art and culture, we can better understand each other. It seems easy to create geometrical figures, but I can't do this in such a professional way as Kazimir Malevich did. So, he was the founder of abstract art, and Pinchuk Art Center is a bright example of this art. So, we are standing in front of the Ukrainian National Opera House because Ukraine gave the world very famous ballet performers such as Sergei Lefar and Sergei Poluny. Sergei Lefar is one of the most outstanding uh, ballet dancers of the 20th century and that's why the international dancing competition is named after him. Poluny, it seems like he found himself in a world of dance. If you haven't seen his video, Take Me to Church, you should check it out. It got 20 million views on YouTube. You will love it. Ukrainian music is known abroad because of such famous artists like Elsa's Ocean and also two winners of the Eurovision competition like Ruslana and Jamala. Also, modern music is becoming more and more popular nowadays. For example, Onuka and the Mannequin and Brunette's Shoot Blondes. What's more, our capital Kyiv is the host for annual festival of music, which is the biggest in the Eastern Europe, Atlas Weekend. This year it featured more than 200 artists which performed on eight scenes to fascinate the public. Ukraine is the nation of the song. We keep up with the latest trends of fashion, so we cannot imagine our life without shopping. Shopping is not only a pleasure for us, but also a fun and useful way of life. Our favorite word is sale.
Ukrainian fashion became popular all over the world. Most famous Ukrainian designers show their works in New York, Paris, Milan. And by the way, Ukrainian national clothes, which is Wushuwanka, which is, you can see, imported dress, is worn by Hollywood stars, even on red carpets. So be stylish! Wear Ukrainian! Our modern Ukraine. A country with ancient history and full of modern and talented people. We're all the same as you are. Young, talented and determined. Let's unite in a good deed. The future is in our hands. And we are the next generation that will change the world for better. I would like once again thank those who watched this video and those who watched this on YouTube. Today we gathered here to provide answers to your questions that we got from Ukraine and from abroad. European and American viewers saw this video and also post-Soviet countries also watched it. So why did this idea appear? Anastasia Zarishna, thank you very much. Going back to the topic. In Ukraine, we do not have a lot of positive. We want to speak not only about corruption, about war, that everything is bad, no. We have prospects in Ukraine, we have youth who is ready to represent Ukraine and you. So this is the main reason and also important reason is that in Ukraine, you know that many people abroad do not know a lot about Ukraine. They know about the revolution of dignity, but nothing else. So, and we want that young people abroad knew about Ukraine, about our famous people, about scientists, about researchers, about uh, Sikorsky and the first helicopter. And I believe that this information is useful for youth. And now we are going to say why it was made in English. And Alexander will tell us about it. The world becomes more and more open and Ukraine uh, got visa-free regime with Europe, and this is the bright example. But why English? Now, English is the universal instrument due to which you can be understood throughout the world. And uh, Ukrainians, they are in the world trend, and starting first grade or even kindergarten, Ukrainians start to learn English, and we want to be understood, and uh, that's why we made this video in English. And also one more question, why such locations were chosen? There are a lot of wonderful places in Ukraine. So uh, Yaroslav Fedorchuk answers. So we decided to show Kiev galleries, museums, sightseeing places, and the main audience is 
youth and you know that uh, young people do not like to watch long video that's why we made this video so short and we chosen those locations that are really of interest for youth uh, for example cafes theaters uh, known university and uh, Tara Shevchenko University also we are interested in sports uh, we like not only um, American and European teams, but also we like our own teams. And also we wanted to show the national bank and our currency, and we wanted to show that uh, this, our capital is really good for tourists to spend time, to enjoy time. That's why we cho have chosen such locations. And also we have such a question. We have Maria who has her own experience. She studied in the United States for a year. And uh, her opinion was really of importance because she personally knows uh, about what people know in the world about Ukraine, especially young people, what they know about Ukraine. So when I I was asked where uh, are you from, they I said Ukraine, and the people said, and where is it? So people didn't know about our country, and uh, I had a presentation, and uh, uh, this was about history of America, but I presented a video about Ukraine, and I saw interest in their eyes, and uh, they are interested how we spend time, what uh, good things we have, and I started to tell about my country, and people ask a lot of questions, and there were some weird questions, do you have pizza, for example, and do you have ice cream, because people just do not know what we have in Ukraine. And uh, I saw interest and I understood that we should go on with this topic and to tell about Ukraine in order that the world got interest in us. So uh, also one more question. Um, what did you get for yourself uh, when you cho uh, sh shot, the, uh, shot those videos? So uh, these are young people, they are not professional actors, and this was their idea and implementation. We only helped them with the technical and organizational component. Victoria, could you please answer? Yes, good afternoon, everyone. I would like to say that Personally, I understood that we have the way to go because the three years passed since the revolution of dignity and now our society is in the new stage, the stage of changes. And uh, the youth should participate in these changes. And uh, I understood that this is in our own strengths. We can become more open for the world and for the people. And we can show that uh, to be Ukrainian is a trend it is fashionable. And I want that each person who see this video just think, should think that we are Ukrainians, we live in a wonderful country. And when people hear the word Ukraine, we do not want that they had negative feelings some sadness. We want that people think about Ukraine as something bright. And we hope that when people watch this video, and this is not our last video, we will move ahead. We will open new aspects for people and for ourselves as well. Thank you, Victoria. And now I am giving the floor to Tatiana Vagranovska. And she is the head of the youth component of our NGO platform of uh, public initiatives. We were involved in this project uh, and um, she is going to provide an answer what we have for today. So we started 1st August, we provided this news. So thank you very much. It is worth noting that our video for less than a month, got uh, more than 200,000 uh, viewers on Facebook. So <clears throat> it shows that uh, people have interest in Ukraine, but they lack information. And uh, people should get information how people live here, the daily life of Ukrainians. So this is a video not about something that everyone knows. Um, this is the video about young people, their life, 
the activities and what these young people can tell to the world. Also, we send this video to universities of Canada, Europe, and Australia, and also to the United States, and to embassies and diplomatic institutions in different countries. It is worth n noting that we got a lot of support from uh, people on Facebook. We had about uh, uh, 700 reposts and uh, a lot of likes. And from the state institutions, we, d we had little support. Only several diplomatic institutions really supported us and reposted us on Facebook and their pages and wrote uh, that Ukrainian youth shows daily life of Ukraine. Also, I would like to say that for us, it is important that in the world, they understood that we are talented youth because at the moment there is a lot of negative uh, in relation to Ukraine and even in Ukraine there are a lot of negative attitudes towards our life. That's why we want to form an image of Ukraine. We want to show that there are a lot of talented people who are ready to develop the country, to present it and to show it at the international level. And for us and for all of us, uh, this was an interesting experience, how we can show our native Ukraine and uh, what we ready to do for our country and how we are going to develop it in the future. Thank you. And uh, we want to express our gratitude to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine that also po posted this video about positive attitude and uh, to Oksana Belazir, uh, who also disseminated this information because people should know positive things about Ukraine. And I would like to give the floor to our partner. This is NGO Institute of Freedom of Speech. And exclusively, thanks to their technical support, we were able to implement this project that was created by our graduates of 2017, Sergei Pelecha. You are given the Pelech, you are given the floor. So, um, so the Institute of Freedom of Speech, uh, we really tried to help. And uh, uh, when you put uh, uh, the word Google, uh, Ukraine on Google, you will see the news about corruption, war, about negative things concerning Ukraine. And uh, we didn't hesitate because we saw talented youth, and they are the future of Ukraine. And these young people wanted to create a video and present Ukraine in a good way in the world. So if the state provided more help to such initiatives, we believe that many more people knew about Ukraine and uh, not only in uh, war, uh, Klitschko, Shevchenko, corruption, but maybe Ukraine would have been known all around the globe. And there were many interesting locations, interesting places. But I believe that this video should be made on, not only in Kiev. Maybe we will make another video and we will promote knowledge about Ukraine and we will provide information to people about Ukraine, not only negative information, but positive information about Ukraine. And uh, I would like to address to the heads of the state institutions, please w watch this video, please look at young people, look at people who want to promote Ukraine in the world, and please support them. And this will be the make, uh, main thing you can do to help us. Thank you very much for this presentation. And uh, uh, whether you plan to move uh, further and make some other videos, but I see that you want to do this. Do you want to create a video about some particular place and what will it be? after Kiev that was presented in the first video. Let me answer. So we do not have a proper plan at the moment, but we would like to uh, shoot Lviv uh, uh, and other places. Uh, and there are a lot 
of things that can be said about Ukraine, maybe Odessa. So these should be big cities that are interest that are interested uh, and uh, uh, that are interesting for the young people and for different people in other countries. Do you have questions? Please ask if there are no questions. So maybe you tell told us everything in detail. So this is really a great job, and uh, we wait for further news from you. Thank you.